Assuming you've made all the edits that you want to, you can continue to the Sculpt menu to refine the mesh's appearance. Sculpt, again, works like a paintbrush, but here you can change not only the size, but also the strength, and this is going to be a little bit different for every Sculpt brush. In the Brushes menu, we have a range of effects that we can apply to the mesh by painting them on. Drag and Move are two unique ones that depend on where you're viewing the mesh from, so I'll show you how that works. With a smaller brush size, you can see drag creates these sort of spikes, and this is based on the direction that I'm clicking and dragging with my mouse, so you can actually have a lot of fun with this. Move does a similar thing, but this, especially with a larger brush size, it almost works like the liquify tool in Photoshop, where instead of creating these little spikes and little details, you can really change the overall shape and the boundaries of the mesh. And you may find that when you're doing this, you have to rotate around a lot because you always wanna be looking head on when you're making these edits. All the other tools, they don't have this restriction. You can pick any brush and just click and drag to paint onto the surface. Draw, draw to, spikes and inflate all make bumps or ridges where you paint, so I'll show you what that looks like. Again, the strength is gonna indicate how high and how noticeable those ridges are. So spikes a little bit more pronounced. Draw too is just a more powerful version of draw. So all pretty similar, but sort of have different appearances. Flatten and pinch kind of do the opposite. If I take a big brush and apply it to this area, it's going to do what it says. It's going to flatten everything out again. Pinch, it's sort of grabbing all the triangles and moving them closer towards each other. You want to be careful with this one because you don't want these really, really dense areas of triangles. You can get self-intersections. But with a lower strength, this can kind of have interesting effects or just change the triangle size in an area. The smoothing tools behave pretty similarly to each other. That's bubble smooth, shrink smooth, and robust smooth. I don't have a preference, so I'll just pick one of them. And you'll notice that what this does is in concave areas or creases, it's going to add a little bit more material again depending on the strength setting so here's a little bit more of an extreme example and with bumps or spikes if i smooth it's actually going to shrink them and melt them back into the surface so this is really great if you have any sharp edges or creases so this is pretty dramatic but this is just rounding almost putting a radius on that sharp edge from our boolean operation earlier and making something that might be you know, just a little bit nicer as a 3D printed object. It's not going to have that sharp wall. It's also going to be a little bit less brittle. So that's something to consider. You'll notice that some of these tools added way more triangles where they were applied, like the drag tool. Some decreased the triangle count, like smooth, and others stayed about the same. If you want to increase or decrease triangle density, you can use refine, reduce, or adaptive reduce. Reduce is great if you have a really large file, but you want to preserve detail in some areas. So I can go over with this brush. It's making quite large triangles, um, but I'm avoiding the areas that I care about and that I want to preserve that fine level of detail. Refine is going to do the opposite. It's going to increase triangle count. It's important to remember that if you have a low resolution mesh, Refine is not going to add more detail. It's not going to make it high resolution. What it is going to do is just put more triangles there for you to work with. So now that this is a little bit finer, and I'll turn the strength up just to even add another level of fineness, I can now go in with a sculpting brush or with draw, turn that up to a high strength, pretty small size, and do a finer level of sculpting because I have those triangles to work with. So that's important to remember.